So I'm starting off this look by priming my eyes with an eyeshadow primer to ensure my eyeshadows last all day. Next, I'm applying a pinky golden eyeshadow with my finger onto my lid. With a blending brush, I'm going to apply a light brown eyeshadow into my crease. To give this look some more depth, I'm applying a darker brown eyeshadow into the crease and outer corner. With the same color, I'm applying it onto my lower lash line. With a frosty highlight color, I'm going to apply that onto my brow bone as well as my inner corner. Personally, this look wasn't intense enough for me, so I'm adding some black into the outer corner and crease. And just make sure everything is nicely blended together. With a gold pigment, I'm applying that under my lash line. And the lid color wasn't working for me, so I decided to add the same gold pigment onto my lid. Now it's time to clean up all the fallouts from our eyeshadow. With a black eyeliner pen, I'm going to line my eyes and create a small wing. To make my eyes pop more, I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner pencil. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and for falsies, I'm applying long separated pixie looking lashes. But first, I'm going to cut a third off and attach the smaller piece onto the outer corner of my false lashes. And this is going to make the outer corner of our eyes look fuller. Thumbs up this video if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to apply false lashes. So I'm applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes and now I'm filling in my eyebrows to frame my face. Moving on to the face, I'm applying liquid foundation onto my entire face to even out my skin tone. I'm using heavy duty concealer to cover any blemishes or breakouts and this is important because any type of goddess must have perfect skin. Or at least just look like she does. Now I'm setting my makeup with a translucent powder. So get ready for some major cheek products because we're going to turn ourselves into a super divine goddess. I'm starting off with a golden peach liquid highlight and applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and just blending it back towards my hairline. After that, I'm applying a pinky powder blush right on top. For more shine, I'm taking a golden liquid highlight and applying that right on top of my cheekbones. I'm also applying this towards the center of my face for a gorgeous highlight. And my last cheek product for this look is bronzer. You can't be a Greek goddess without a bronzy sun-kissed complexion. For lips, I'm applying a pinkish nude lipstick and then adding a sheer golden lip gloss right on top. This gloss was made for a goddess because it has actual gold in it. How cool is that? And last but not least, I'm applying the same gold pigment from our eyes onto the center of my lips. Now I know you guys are going to ask about my hair, so I curled my hair with my Cool Wave flat iron and just pinned everything until I was satisfied. Simple as that. I also added a gold necklace in my hair to add to my Greek goddess look. So now this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video with my last Halloween tutorial of the year. Bye, have a magical day!